Welcome to the We Buy Houses podcast with our host, Brian Spitz, president of Big State Home Buyers, leading the seamless approach to real estate investing in Houston since 2005. Brian's specialty in this large wholesale operation is facilitating real estate solutions for people wanting to sell quickly. Each week, we discuss the ins and outs of wholesale real estate investing and related topics by professionals who matter. And now, here's Brian. Hi, I'm Brian Spitz, president of Big State Home Buyers. We're Houston's leading company to go to if you'd like to sell your house fast. Today, we're visiting with Marilyn Satter, whose company is Organize My World, and we're talking about organization, we're talking about hoarding, we're talking about getting your stuff ready for a move. So thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Brian. Tell us briefly about your specialty, and then uh, let's talk about the hoarding story that you told me about. Well, my specialty is I am a certified professional organizer, so my specialty is helping people to become more organized in their homes, in their businesses, their offices, and I'm also an accredited staging professional, Mm -hmm. which I use alongside my organizing to help people with their homes. Also, um, my specialty in organizing actually is with working with people with attention deficit disorder, and and I do a lot of paper management and you know and helping people that are chronically disorganized. So, but I do I have worked with with hoarders from time to time, and you know with people moving in and moving out. It's probably a sliding scale, a spectrum of disorganization, really, um, from minor to hoarding being on the extreme. Exactly, yes, so very much. So you actually have an experience of helping somebody overcome a hoarding scenario in reverse yes. after they're moving into a new their place or after moving into their house. Yes. Tell us about that. Yes, well, they were out of their home for quite a while after a, a natural disaster. Okay. And the insurance company was getting them back in the home. So they had a moving company bring everything back into the house and and that's where we came in to come in and and help get the home put back in order. Mm -hmm. So when we got there um, and started opening the boxes, like in the living room there were about 30 boxes, huge boxes. Mm -hmm. And when we started opening the boxes, they were all labeled living room and we started pulling things out and it was just a conglomerate of a million different things. A few things belonged in the living room, but most of the items were, you know, just from either items that had no value or should have been thrown out before the move or things that belonged in other rooms. We might find a sock or a ball or a spatula. And so it it was a very interesting case. Did you know that's what you were going into? Did, did you have a call and let them know we have, we have all of this stuff and it's going to be a mess trying to get through it? I, I had a very good idea when I went out and did an assessment mm-hmm. that um, it was a unique situation right. and that it was going to be different than just regular unpacking and, and right. putting things away. Right. Well, interesting. So, and. How, was, uh, how were the clients at helping you go through the stuff and what was their response to the process? They, they were there to help and, and we did the best we could to help them let go of some of the things and okay. it was very difficult for them to let go. So uh, we, would, um, we would work with them and then we would put things, you know, to be thrown out, we would set aside and put in bags, and normally we always immediately will take that out to our vehicle. Right, so, so that there's no going back. Won't, yeah, so there's no going back. But they insisted that it was trash day that night, and so we, so we left it there, which is, we never do that. And of course, when we came back, you know, some of the items were, were back on the scene again, so yeah. that was an interesting situation there, too. Do you find that it's common that both parties in the marriage would be subject to hoarding or subject to disorganization? Is, you know, because if it was difficult for both of them, and I know you mentioned to me uh, their son had a huge amount of relief from seeing the work you did. 
Um, so tell me how that fits in the family dynamic. Is it usually both? Well, usually we always think of the woman as being the hoarder. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have found that that is not always the case. Sometimes when I get there, the husband is, you know, maybe more, you know, part of it or, you know, also part of it or even more so than the, than the woman, mm -hmm. although predominantly the cases that we see on TV and everything are always women. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, but obviously the husbands have to be willing to live with it, so it, it must be the dynamic within the family. Yes, and that's part of it when it starts creating stress and, and mm -hmm. it becomes a very stressful situation for, for a marriage and, and for if you have children, it's, it's very difficult for them to, to live in a situation like that. And in this particular situation, uh, there was a son, and so how the, the parents had a difficult time accepting that there was this big change, but how was the rest of the family with it? The son was no longer at home. Mm -hmm. So when he came by to visit, he, he was almost in tears when he saw the living room, which was actually set up like a, a living room. an actual living room for, right. you know, for the first time. So that was um, quite interesting to see the look on his face, and, yeah. and he was very happy to see that. Good. Well, it's a unique service organization, uh, professional organization help. It's actually not something that a lot of people probably know exist. Um, we help at Big State Home Buyers. We work with a lot of clients who need help cleaning out their properties. Uh, we take care of that as one of the services for them. There's no house that's in too bad a condition for us or no house too pretty for us to buy. Uh, you can reach us at BigStateHomeBuyers.com and you can reach Marilyn at OrganizeMyWorld.com. Yes. Great. Well, thank you so much. It was good to have you today. Thank you, Brian. Bye-bye. You've been listening to We Buy Houses with your host, Brian Spitz, president of Big State Homebuyers. Don't forget to visit our website, bigstatehomebuyers.com, for more information on how to sell your house. We pay $500 for referrals, so tell your friends, too.